Hey, what's up? Welcome back to a brand new video. So, you guys are recently asking me in live stream or in video comments that to show my gameplay settings. So, in this video, I will be sharing my gameplay settings that you should turn on before playing head to head. As you guys can see, there is lots of gameplay settings available in game. Each settings have its pros and cons. So, I will be sharing my thoughts on which gameplay settings you should turn on before start playing head to head. First setting is virtual stick is larger in size that I unable it. If you unable these settings then your joystick size will be bigger. If you are using larger virtual stick or joystick it will help you to control your player while you are attacking or defending more swiftly compared to if you are using smaller virtual stick or joystick. If I disable that option then you can see virtual stick size or joystick size become smaller so while attacking or defending controlling your players will be difficult with the smaller joystick. The next settings is floating virtual stick or joystick. I always use floating joysticks because it helps in the close range dribbling like cutback, scoop turn. In the main, mainly in the attacking portion while you are attacking, floating joystick is very useful to be honest. Disable that option from the settings then the virtual stick or the joystick will be stick to a single spot. It will be difficult for you while you are attacking or defending to control your players while you are disabled that option. The next settings is button size like pass, shoot, through or sprint and skill button size will be smaller if you disable that option. It will be difficult for you to tap on that correct button if they are smaller in size. So I will always recommend to use larger button size. So there will be no chance of mistapping on any buttons as they are larger in size. The option is large button spacing. If you disable that option then there will be less space between shoot, pass and through button. I always recommend to enable that option. It will avoid the mistapping on the other button at certain situations. Next settings is advanced passing. If you enable that option you can able to do driven pass by swiping left the pass button. It will help you in the quick build up while you are playing head to head. But if you disable that option then there will be no option to driven pass or driven through pass so I always recommend to enable that advanced passing option before playing head to head. Next settings is fast power up rate. I disabled it. If you turn on that option it will help you to quick build up I agree but sometimes if you do full power driven pass as the option is enabled your player can miss pass the ball which can give your opponent to create a counter attack against you. As I disabled that option, I can control the passing while quick build up or quick passing in between players like Van Persie in that situation, quick pass to Mbappe, Mbappe with a simple lane change from outside of the box, tied the pin shot and scored an amazing goal. In the head to head hit will he really helpful. Look at the pass from Van Persie and easy lane change from Mbappe and scored an amazing goal from pin shot from outside of the box. It is very easy for him. Settings is contextual strap dribble. I always enable that option. If you enable that option while dribbling like fake shot or scoop turning with your attacker, the attacker won't lose the control of the ball. It is really helpful while you are playing head to head. Like in this situation, Mbappe running with the ball, easy fake shot inside of the opponent penalty box and scored an amazing finesse shot goal. He doesn't even lose the control of the ball in this tight situation. Again, Van Persie pass it back to Jairzino, Jairzino with the heel to heel. Look at the attack ground from Jairzino. He doesn't even lose the control of the ball. Again, easy fake shot, another fake shot and tried the power shot from inside of the box and scored an amazing goal at the end. That uh, contextual strap dribble option if you turned on, the player won't lose the ball easily. Look at the attacking run from the Van Persie once again, easy fix shot once again, another fix shot, he doesn't even lose the ball and scored from that angle easily at the end. But so that's it for today's video guys, I hope you enjoyed the video, if you do don't forget to hit the like button and if you are new to the channel do subscribe as well for more FC mobile content. Thank you for watching.